The Quilt 2 Personal Storage Hello everyone, welcome to Brian Unboxed. This is the Quilt 2 Personal Storage device. This device will let you store your photos and videos in the privacy of your own home and not in an off-site cloud storage. You have full control of your files and there are no monthly fees. This is perfect for backing up your smartphones, DSLRs, and action cameras. The company sent this out for me to review. I have included the link in the description below for the product. If you are new to my channel, don't forget to hit that subscribe button so you don't miss out on future videos and give it a thumbs up as well. So let's take a look. Inside, it comes with the user guide, HDMI cable, Ethernet cable, power adapter, and a 16 gig USB stick. This device has a 1.2 gigahertz processor, utilizes USB 2.0, and works on 2.4 gigahertz Wi-Fi. This is a great alternative to cloud storage and no monthly fees. You can save, share, and access your files from anywhere. And this is compatible with Mac, Windows, and has apps for Android and iOS. The box is fairly small and has an Apple TV-like form factor, but a little bit larger. It has plastic construction all around with a matte black finish. On the side, you have the ports to plug in your storage devices. It has an SD port and three USB ports. On the back are the input ports. You have a USB, AV ports, HDMI, the 100 megabit LAN port, and the power input. The bottom also has four rubber feet to provide stability. The Quilt 2 is less than 5 inches all around and has a height of about 1 inch. As mentioned earlier, it comes with a 16 gig USB stick which is very convenient to get you started. Or if you have other storage devices such as an external USB drive, you can connect it using the side ports. Setup is easy. I have it powered up and using the LAN port to plug it into my network. There is a power LED indicator on the right side. To begin, download the Quilt app. Create an account and sign in. Once the app is launched, on the upper left is an option to add a device. Selecting that will give you options to add the device. In this demonstration, I will add a new quilt device. It will begin the setup process and it will prompt you to create a username and password for the quilt too. Once connected, there are various options to manage your account and your connected media storage, also known as the sources. At this point, I will plug in the USB storage and I do have some files on it already. As you can see, it has two sources right now, the iPhone and the USB stick, which is active. There are numerous options from copying your files from a device or back to a connected storage on the quilt box. On the main screen, the app shows the files that are on the USB stick. There are timeline groupings, locations, media sources, and search options. Clicking on a particular file will provide additional options for editing and saving. It also provides information for each of the file if you click on the upper right icon. The Quill 2 Personal Storage This is a big upgrade from the original version 
with increased processing and additional ports. This device is perfect for those that have a lot of photos and videos and want a way to store them without uploading to an off-site cloud environment. This allows you to take full control of your media and attach your own storage devices. You can share and access your files from anywhere as well. If you like my video, go ahead and hit that like button. And if you haven't subscribed yet, hit that subscribe button as well. Until next time, this is Brian Unbox. Take care, everyone.